this could be the end of our hardcore world right here. Or it could be the beginning of it getting much, much better. I am so unprepared for this. Like, so unprepared. to subscribe and like the video and comment oh man i don't know why i find that so funny uh welcome back guys um i changed stuff again if you haven't noticed uh you know what don't worry about it i i'm running new shaders and a texture pack as well that changes a few things one being die right and i actually like it now so We've got some things to do today, and what are those things exactly? Well, you probably already saw, we are going to go to the end. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully I don't die by then. So in the last episode, we got the blaze rods that we need to go to the stronghold and then the end, but I don't think we have any ender pearls. Yeah, I'm not going to make you guys look, uh, watch me go through all my chests. I think the best way to get these under pearls is probably these guys right here. So I've already got our brewing stand. I was just using it to uh, stand up to see that guy. We've just got to pick a villager to make our potion smith. Uh, there's nobody in that house. We use this guy in here. And then we've simply just got to level him up. Okay, I think this will be a good spot to do it. So I should easily be able to trade with him. Yeah, and... Okay, he can't get out either, and I don't think anything's going to be able to get in here. So we do have three emeralds here. I think one of the trades you can do is trading Lapri... I almost said Lapras. Um, I'm trading Lapis for Emeralds later on, but I think we need a way to initially earn Emeralds. Well, it has taken me until nighttime to uh, get the flint for this fletching table, but we now have this. And if you don't know why I have this, essentially it is the easiest way to get early game Emeralds. And, and the Phantoms are back. Okay. Okay, I'm just- I'm getting straight up bullied out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's rude. You know, I've told myself that I am not going to sleep in this world, but it is a little annoying when I need to work with villagers, and by the time I get my workstations, it's nighttime. The sun is finally rising, and we can now get going on these villagers. I was about to, uh... Try and snatch this horse. Let's see if I can do that. So, the horse was taking too long, so I gave up on that. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> I was so not paying attention. Oh, my heart just skipped a beat. Okay, moving on. Okay. Let's make you a Fletcher. And eight. we're up to 18 emeralds, just like that. We used up, like, all of our wood, but, uh... Here we go. Because, yeah, I definitely need redstone. Oh. Never mind, you buy lapis. Oh. I would much rather sell gold. Let's go see if we have any gold. Alright, this should level them up quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Easy XP right there. Okay, and now a rabbit's foot or glowstone. Or we just sell you more gold. Buy a few pieces of lapis. And fingers crossed that we now have the ender pearl trade. Yes, there it is. Also, we can sell him glass bottles, which might be a good way to get some emeralds. We just have to go on a little sand trip. 
And yeah, we're gonna need a lot because these under pearls are four per pearl, which sucks because we need like at least 12, preferably like 14 or 16. So we can either A, chop trees, or B, we can gather sand. So if you can't tell already, I've decided to go for the sand route because, I don't know, I just feel like that will be much, much quicker. Okay, I'm getting a little distracted here, but I know that a lot of people are not a fan of the birchwood forest. And personally, not really either. But with this new texture pack that I've downloaded that changes not much at all, really, we get these beautiful birchwood forests. I mean, look at this place. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Like, this is incredible. That aside, I think it is time we start gathering some sand. Let's get right into it. So now that I have a decent amount of wood and quite a lot of sand, I think it's time we head back. So we came out with a pretty good haul. We've got two and a quarter stacks of wood and a bunch of sand. I, I didn't count how much it is, but it's, it's a decent amount. Definitely more than we have the coal to smelt, that is for sure. Okay, so he's all sold out on sticks for now. We're gonna see how many of these we can buy. Four. I mean, it's a start. Well, at least we can now buy bottles of enchanting. Definitely not the most useless thing ever. <laughs> they do so little. It's just, it's so not worth it. Well, we got a couple more ender pearls. So yay to that, I guess. I always underestimate how long this part actually takes. Like, I just think to myself, I'm like, oh yeah, instant free ender pearls. But it still takes a significant amount of time. So we've now got 12 pearls, and I know I was just complaining about how long that took, but realistically, getting the pearls any other way without Dream's luck is... It, it takes a while. So I think it is about time that we make our enchanting table. I don't think I will have the stuff to put any books around it. I looked through all my chests and I literally found a singular piece of leather. That is how absolutely poor I am on the stuff. Alright, nevertheless we have our enchanting table in all its glory. Uh, you know, I can only do like level one enchants, but I mean it's better than nothing. Also, I should probably make new iron armor, uh, except the fact that I do not have much iron. I kind of forgot about that. All right, I think we have everything that we need for this journey. We have our eyes of ender. We have more blaze rods in case. We need to make more. We've got six slow falling potions, which should be more than enough. Two and a half stacks of potatoes, some cobblestone, an extra bow, and three stacks of arrows. I'd love to have infinity, but I am going in with um, pretty, pretty low tier gear, so that's kind of out of the question. 
Alright, it's time for our first pearl. Uh, or I. This way, okay. Oh, oh. Really? The first one breaks? So already, if there's no eyes, I don't have enough. This is... This is just great. Is that another village? It is, too. And I don't think I've been to that one, either. Oh, really? Really? Alright, it is full-fledged nighttime because mobs are starting to spawn absolutely everywhere right now. Look at all those creepers. A little party going on. Alright, you know what? Screw it. I'm breaking my rule. I don't care. Just making the achievement sweet dreams. Oh, we're turning this way. We gotta be close. Ooh, okay. And that one broke. Alright, so it's gotta be... We threw the other one just on the other side, I think. Okay, a little bit further over this way. I think we're gonna dig down right here. I don't want to go in the river, so we're gonna try right here. I was about to give up. There it is. We made it. Well. No way, we just dropped into a prison cell. <laughs> that is the funniest spot I've come down in. That is hilarious. Alright. Let's just break into here. Ooh, library right away. Now, I don't really have the room to bring anything back from here. But I'm always curious to see what's in here. Looting 2. Oh, if we had an anvil, I would chuck that on my sword for those shulkers immediately. Okay, we went down there, that was a dead end. We went down there, that was a dead end. There's nothing in here. Oh, okay. I can go this way. Now, I know these things are meant to be, like, puzzling and, like, a maze, but I get so lost in these things. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't need to make new leggings earlier, but... Oh! We, uh, we found it. There's just enough pearls in here. Let's go. Okay, I just kind of want to see... Is that the one we already looted? It is, okay. Alright, you know what? We'll explore the rest of this later. I've got to be careful, because I once tossed the last one that I needed. And I don't want to do that again today. Alright, so, we're here, we got our pearl, and we are ready to go. This could be the end of our hardcore world, right here. Or, it could be the beginning of it getting much, much better. So, without further ado, I am so unprepared for this, like, so unprepared. First crystal down. Wish my aim could be better. There's the second one. Okay. Third. Right, let's get this cage one right here. Oh my god. I should have went for the bucket. I barely got that in time. Are they oh my god. They're all after me. Oh my god, that was close. Oh, is that a fireball coming towards me? How many of these guys have I looked at now? Oh my god. I'm not panicking. I'm, I'm not panicking. 
This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, I've got to run. Okay, I forgot the slow falling kind of messes up the whole sprint jump thing. Okay, there's still one after me. God, I am way too low health. I don't like this. Potions of healing would have been a smart thing, apparently. Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna make sure we're always topped up on that slow falling. Because that was way too close. A little closer. There we go, that's one down. There we go, there's that one. Okay, nice. There we go. Holy crap, that took way too long. Okay, I don't see him healing right now, so we might have gotten them all. Oh, that is loud. This hill right here is actually really nice for whacking his tail. Oh. Okay, that did a little damage. Wait, what? <laughs> I think he's got invisibility potions. Getting a lot of shots in here. This power one bow really isn't doing much, but... Oh, it looks like he's perching. Okay, I think he's invincible now. Wait, can we get his head here? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't try that. Don't try that. Do not try this at home, kids. Also, I'm out of slow falling. Oh, God. If he comes at me right now, he might kill me. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, he's perching again. Okay. Note to self this time, don't go for hits on the head. Because you will get killed. So yeah, I should just learn from the Endermen. Because they're going in there and getting absolutely wrecked. Okay, I don't know why he's turning invisible. That is so weird. What the heck? That is so strange. Here we go. Come on, we're so close. It's going invisible, but... Oh wait, and I, my hits aren't even working. There we go. Yep, just hit the sky. Okay, the left. See if we can finish this with the bow. This should be it right here. Yes! Let's go! Keeps going invisible. <laughs> oh, he's glitching right out. Oh man, we did it. And there was no close calls. <laughs> Oh, look at all this XP. I think we're going to get to level 72. That's my guess. Okay, 68. I was pretty close. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave the dragon egg right there for now. And just come back for it later. Because I'm going to be going straight into the extended end. But I will be doing that next episode because... Honestly, the prep for this took way longer than I expected, and that fight has me kind of stressed out, and I, I need to calm down a little bit. 
Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends, you know, all the, all the good stuff. But until next time, my name is Slothology, and that's, that's not how I end these. Uh, stay slothy. Bye!